Hi guys! So today I'm going to try to do um, a DIY with you guys. I got this idea from Pinterest and um, I, I made this one and my daughter and a couple of my friends wanted me to make them one. So um, my daughter and my friend would like a Minnie Mouse so I'm going to attempt to make a Minnie Mouse and then for my other friend I'm going to do um, Hello Kitty. So if you want to learn how to do this keep watching. Okay. So the things you're going to need are a terracotta pot and this one is a four inch terracotta pot you're gonna need the saucer or what you're gonna use as a lid for your um, bowl you're also gonna need so you're gonna the need bowl. those items as well as paint uh, let's see I'm using this one I got it at Hobby Lobby for a dollar seventy-seven, I believe it is. Yep. And you can also use these acrylic paints as well. I like to use these as well. Okay. So whatever colors you want, ribbon, these um, round stickers. You're gonna need a brush and E6000 glue or any glue that um, like a glue gun or anything like that which reminds me you do need a glue gun as well with glue sticks and then I also have like little like what are they called like little rhinestones and just those little things and you're going to need styrofoam balls and I got these as well at the dollar at the Dollar Tree. Anyway, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take off any stickers that are on your pots, on your saucers, on your glass bowls. I already did that. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your paint, shake this guy up, and I'm just going to pour some of that onto my plate. And then I'm going to grab my brush and just start painting the lid. Oh, I also forgot to mention that you're going to need glitter. I forgot to get my glitter. I have to run and grab my glitter. But I'll do that after I'm done with this guy. Okay, you're going to paint it all around. This is just your first coat. You're going to do two coats on this. That's the top. You're going to let the top dry and then you're going to do the inside. So let's set that to the side. Work on the other one. Okay, I'm going to paint these and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to do Hello Kitty's top. And we're going to use white paint. I've never seen Hello Kitty done before, so I'm hoping that it comes out okay. I've seen the Mickeys, and Mickey's pretty simple. You know, Mickey and Minnie, it's simple. Hello Kitty now is a little different, so we'll see how this comes out. And pretty much, guys, what you're going to do, you're going to do the same thing for your pots. You're going to paint them and do a couple coats as well. Let them dry in between coats. And then once this is all done, then I'll come back and show you the rest. Okay, guys, so the next step is after your white pot has dried, for one of the mini Mouses that I'm going to make, she's going to be pink with white polka dots so the stickers you just put wherever no special order make sure they're down right because if not then paint will seep through to the bottom uh, I mean in the inside of the sticker and I'm gonna go all around my pop and then I'll come back for the next step <sighs> okay, so I think what I'm going to do is not put the stickers on because look what happened. I put the sticker on and then I figured, oh, I don't want it there. I'm going to take it off and place, place it somewhere else. Well, when I took the sticker off, it came out with the paint. And I used this paint, so I think I'm just going to end up using this kind of paint or maybe spray paint because this is not... Mm -mm. 
not working at all. So this is out the window. So I'm gonna start all over again. So now I'm having to wash it off with a sponge because you know what? That was a complete, mm -mm. no, no. See, I had to take it off. Don't use that paint. I think the one that I got at Hobby Lobby, the one, um, the acrylic, I, I would rather go with acrylic or spray paint, but this, <laughs> oh, boo, oh well. All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so after that big mistake that I made with the paint, I just realized that that paint said it was water paint, so of course, it was washable, so that's why it didn't work. So just go with the acrylics, just completely take out that one paint that I told you. I'm sorry for telling you to use that paint. I'm glad it happened now and not later. But anyway, so I'm just going to use the acrylic paints. So I just used um, the regular uh, black. And then for the pink, I'm using, it's called Poodle Skirt Pink. And it's from, uh, what is it? Okay. Americana. And then we're just going to, same thing, paint the pink all over and um, let that dry. Okay, guys, so while we're waiting for the other stuff to dry, you're going to um, get your styrofoam balls and you're going to paint them and uh, let's see, where's my glitter? I got, uh, I also brought my glitter. So you can use fine glitter or the thicker or the coarser glitter. Um, on the Mickey that I did, I used, let me get it, I used the coarse glitter, see? So anyway, um, so we're going to, um, oh, and in the package, you have three sizes. You have the big ball, a, me a medium ball, and a small ball, okay? You're using the big one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get your paint. Well, actually, get a toothpick or anything just to um, hold on to your styrofoam. Just stick it in there, okay? Hold it like that. And let me get some more paint here. Oh, I'm running out. Okay, and you're just gonna paint your your styrofoam. Okay, just like that. It's a little hard to paint styrofoam, so just be patient with it. You know what? Just kind of pounce on it like that. That you know. And if you don't want to use one of these brushes, you can use um. God, I say um a lot. You can use a makeup sponge. You know those little ones that they sell, like the wedge ones that they sell at the Dollar Tree? You can use that as well. I think that would probably work better than this, but I'm already doing this, so I'm just going to continue to do this. Then once I'm done with this, um, I think I'm going to glitter it while it's still wet. I'll come back and I'll show you that step. Our okay? Styrofoam balls are all wet still with paint. Okay, they're both still wet. I just finished painting them. I'm going to get my glitter and I'm going to use the fine glitter and I'm just going to sprinkle it right on top, well all around the styrofoam ball. Hmm, you know what, I don't know, I think I might use the coarse one. Yeah, see this one, you can see it more. Now you can see it. Okay. Now we're moving on to the next step. Okay, guys, so now that everything is painted and it's drying, um, the two lids that I did first are already dry. So you have an option, you have two options. And you can either get white regular glue and go over it inside and out and leave it to the side and then that way it seals it. Or you can use this right here, clear coat. And spray it outside of course in a very well ventilated area. 
and you spray this and you and you do that for everything for your pots which these this one's already dry oh and for the white I ended up getting this acrylic white paint my husband uh, had it thank goodness I didn't want to run to the store but it's still drying so anyway so now the husband is gonna take care of uh, doing this for me right hubby See? Lucky girl. <laughs> and then I'll be back. Just gotta okay. put a couple of light coats and I'll put one heavy one so it doesn't drip. Okay, you guys hear that? It's better to put uh, one light coat than a heavy one so that way it doesn't drip. Alright, and that's basically it, guys. And then after that dries, you turn it around and then you do the other side. And there's Dodger again. Hi, Dodger! Okay guys, so the next step that we're doing is um, getting some white acrylic paint and just a little artist brush. I don't know what size it is, but... It's like a, I don't know, quarter inch. So it's a quarter inch. And all my husband is doing is just painting it on. Making little dots throughout the whole entire... Um, pot so it's a little tedious but in the end it'll look nice so all he's gonna do is make all these and then once they're dry I'll go back put some white glue and then put glitter on them and then I'll show you later how what that looks like 